What is up guys, welcome to the Big Unbox, where we do that small tech, and today I'm back with another big unboxing for you, and today we got the all new OnePlus Sandstone case, Sandstone bumper case, and the 9 Pro version. Now this is actually going to be that silver, I guess it's called Rock Gray, so it comes in two different colors, you got the black, which is the normal one, and then it's got this Rock Gray, which actually should look really nice against that silver gray whatever you want to call it polar whatever you want to call it it's a silver foam which looks beautiful but to me this one actually should complement it very nicely $24.99 so it's a, you know official case 25 bucks out of the gate let's go and check it out to see if it's a hit or miss presentation looks good one plus branding white and red packaging let's get to the unboxing knife like we do I'm curious how this one's going to look together. Snap it like that. All right, let's get right to it. Very, I like this one a lot. The carbon bumper might be my go-to one for a while now, but we'll see how this one works. In the past, I've liked the look of this, uh, and I like the grip of the sandstone case, but I can never use it as my daily case just because it just kind of feels, it's okay, and it's got a nice texture to it, and it's got this really nice grip to it but it almost feels unnatural. And this is kind of the same thing with this one. It's got a nice look to it, silver, OnePlus logo, and it's supposed to have a sandstone, like sandy feel to it, but then it just doesn't feel great to the touch, like the uh, carbon fiber case. Now, I'm not gonna say it's not a great case. It's got a one part case, hard shell plastic, and it's got this coating over it. And you can see the ridges around the edges. And it's got just a superior grip. This is probably one of the more grippy cases you're going to get. So if that's what you're into, go and check this one out. Now it transitions from the actual hard shell bumper case on the back. And I really don't like that either. There's, I wish there was some soft material on the back. Because with the actual carbon fiber case, you're getting that nice texture to it. But this has just got a basic hard shell plastic. You get a glass back. To me... I want some soft coating over it. Now, it might be a small gripe. It's probably not going to get too many scratches, but I just would have liked to have seen that. And then the same thing around the bumper area right there. So it's okay. It's just not the best. For $25, bucks. i will probably say this is a better value. For $40, bucks. just spend an extra couple bucks for this actual better overall fear, a better overall experience, I should say. Now, speaking of experience, look at that silver. That is absolutely gorgeous. Let me wipe it down, wipe it down. Look at that. God, that is, man, I've been, I've been hyping this one up, but dang, that is gorgeous. What do you guys think about that? That, to me, might be the best looking color of any phone right now. I know that's saying a lot. I know there's a lot of different colors out there. Okay, all right, so this one looks good, though. So you got the gray and silver. Definitely grip, and makes it really, it, fit, it feels really nice in the hands. Um, Lightweight, not going to add hardly any bulk at all. OnePlus logo. Silver contrast looks good. Camera cut out decent. You can see it's raised up or it's curved in just enough. Not crazy, but decent enough camera protection. Let's go and check out the lip because everybody likes a fat zip. Lip protection, okay. And again, the same thing we're having here with the issue with the curved screen. No lip. You can almost see right there this the, the phone edge right there. The screen is popping almost over the curved or the actual case. So if you drop that, to me, that is really dangerous. So there's not much coverage there at all. So that isn't completely exposed on both sides. Where if you drop it, yeah, you got a little bit of coverage on the top and bottom. But not much on the sides at all. So to me, that's a, that's a no-go right there. Volume up and down, a little stiff. The buttons are a little stiff. Not great feeling compared to this one. Just not the best feeling buttons. All the cutouts look good, which you'd expect from the actual official case. Looks good, though. Power button. That actually feels a lot better. Alert slider. Easy access. I like what they did there. And then the mic up top. All right. Okay. Let's check these buttons out one more time. They may just need to get worn a little bit. They're not terrible. Just not great. So, overall, I would say here's my recommendation. If you guys have had the Sandstone case in the past... And you think that this is going to be, it's going to be the same exact thing. It's going to have a nice feel to it. Grip wise, if you, I guess if you like this grip, if you like the way a sandstone case feels and, and you've had it before, go ahead and check it out again. It's not going to disappoint you. But to me, 
I would say it's worth 15 more bucks to get this one. Go with the carbon fiber case. It's got a more of a, a better feel to it, a little bit more better protection. And to me, it's just a better value for an extra 15 bucks over this one. This one kind of feels cheap. That's just my personal opinion. So I'll call it a mini hit. I can't give you a full recommendation on it just because I don't like it as much. So let me know your thoughts in the comment section. Is it a hit? Is it a miss? I'll say it's a mini hit. Hit the subscribe button. I'll see you guys next time.